Still ready? Uh, uh, no. Are you ready? I guess I have to. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Sunday Spinning Sunday. I'm Ryan. I'm Mauricio. All right, can you believe it? Can you believe it, Mauricio? What? Can you believe it? We've made it to a whole year! A year of Sunday Spinning Sunday. Sorry about that. Yeah, I am too. Does it seem like it was a year ago? Uh, according to my visa permit, yes. It was a year ago. Okay, good, good, good. What's a favorite moment of yours, if you, if you can think of one? Oh, if anything. Oh. Oh. One of them should be going to the record stores. And the balloons falling. Flat. In my favorite moments, I have to add when we went to the record stores. Mm -hmm, that was fun. Yeah. And that's it. Yep. But yeah. It's the only enjoyable oh. part of Sunday Spinning Sunday. I like when we did the How to Clean Vinyl. Yeah, that was fun. You know what? I still use to this day that cleaning solution the uh, three quarters water, one quarter alcohol, and a little bit of dish soap. Still use it to this day. Almost every time I spin a record. So, Yahoo! Yeah! Now I use my iPod. You have no money anymore, do you? No, not at all. So you haven't been buying records? No, it's not a priority. Sorry. I have to eat. This episode's about music and the music journey that we're on. I just wanted to say, near the end of 2015, things got a little crazy, at least for me. Uh, with buying vinyl. This is like the, the end of the year rush, you know, one of the top albums of the year. I was listening to music constantly. I never had any silence for like a whole month, maybe even more. I was buying records just to have them, just for like Sunday Spinning Sunday or, or you know, my top albums of 2015. I was just buying, buying, buying. And it was getting a little crazy. 2016 happened, Bowie's album came out, we lost our star man, and after that, I just, I couldn't listen to anything but Bowie. And then I tried to listen to some of those other records from 2015 and I couldn't. And the only other thing I could listen to was Radiohead. That's it. That's all I could listen to. Okay. All right, listen to me, man! Ow. I, I've been enjoying the silence. I've been enjoying the, the old Radiohead that I always love. And I'm getting prepared for, hey, a new album, hopefully, soon. And a concert, hopefully, soon. They're coming to Oceaga. Uh, this year and they're headlining so I'm I'm thinking we're at least gonna try to make the road trip to Montreal I think we can do it and then other than that I've been getting into a little bit of Black Sabbath because hey in just a few weekends We're going to see Black Sabbath along with Jake and Matt. Can you believe it? What? Can you believe it the last tour? The last tour, the end. This is like the fifth time they've uh, had the end tour or something like that. I don't know. Well, when you have Aussie in your groove, you always think it's gonna be the end. Yeah, but we will be doing an episode with Matt and Jake, and that's gonna be awesome. Imagine that, all four of us. Yeah, they didn't even know about that. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> it's funny when you see this while you're editing, you gotta use the f***ing window. Yeah. What have you been listening to lately? It takes me a lot of time to get into new music. I guess I've been just listening to a cocktail of old songs or bands or maybe albums, I don't know. But I actually haven't been listening to much music. Just enjoying the silence? Yeah, sometimes I feel that silence is a good advisor. And uh, it's necessary because when you have too many things in your head and you add music and you have a constant sound or noise in the background, it can be really overwhelming. Sometimes I use music as like an escape to kind of just get all those other thoughts out of my head. But like I said, at the beginning of 2016, I was a little overwhelmed. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't listen to anything. I just needed the silence. And then one night we, we were just listening to music and you were the DJ of the night. And it was awesome because you were kind of picking music that I was kind of like into. Like you, you were picking like Bjork and Tom York. What else was on that playlist that you were listening to? Hmm. That Jake Bug? Jake Bug. Some people say like, what? Jake Bug is this really young kid, uh, maybe younger or the same age as the kids from One Direction, whatever. But he's uh, he's from the UK, just like them. But he has this 
Oasis slash Johnny Cash style. A lot of blues, but uh, an old fashioned rock. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's good. It's hard for me to get into the other songs, but he has one song that for me was one of the best songs of uh, two years ago. It's called Broken. So if you can check that out, Jake Bob Broken. Forget about his age or whatever. Just check that out and also check a special he did when he's playing a, a Folsom Prison from Johnny Cash. But I'm now I'm not sure if it was Folsom Prison or Cocaine Blues. One of those. I'm not a good DJ. I don't know how to get into people's mind. He did great. He knew what was going on in my head. Okay. You picked up my vibe or something. I don't know. Maybe we're sharing the same vibe. Maybe. Maybe. When you're with someone, you, you gotta kind of gel the vibes together and yeah, yeah. Am I an alright DJ? I mean, you're a, you're a very good DJ. Uh, I am a DJ. I am what I play. Yeah, you're a good DJ. Um, although sometimes you play some things too many times and uh, I can't listen to them anymore. When I'm a DJ and I'm playing music with Mauricio, I feel like I can't just play anything. Because there's so much music that you know I might listen to that I don't even know if you would like. You know, if it's rap or whatever, I'm probably not even gonna go there. If it's music that I think you might like, or I know you like that yeah. we kind of share, then I guess I'll play that. Like, you know, I, I know maybe I've overplayed Reflector with you, or oh, The Smiths so with you, or okay. Then what's an example of something that I maybe played too much lately? But for example, yeah, you play some bands that I actually. The sound, I, I would say, like, I, I would totally, I like this, my style. Uh -huh. But I think you played it too much by yourself and I could hear it, or with me, or you sing it. And I can't even get close to that band and I kind of hate it now. But I can't stand the war on drugs. I can't stand it. I can't, every time you played it, I have to cover my ears because it's just, I can't. Wow. It was overplayed and I feel bad. I try. I was like, you know what, let me give it another chance in another environment. I played it and something in my guts started to and I couldn't. Wow, so what Mauricio is talking about is my favorite album of 2014, War on mm. Drugs, Lost in a Dream. I played this so many times, but not really with Mauricio, I just played it on my own. Every time I took a shower, every time I was just by myself, singing, just it's singing alone. it, just Wow, okay, okay, I could understand that. I played yeah. it a lot, that's yeah. fine. I just thought, who wouldn't love this? This is the best album ever. I think I just connected it with it on another personal level. That He oh. connected so well that I disconnected from it. Yeah. And I feel bad, maybe in a couple of years I'm gonna be like, okay, I kind of took my break from this. But every time I hear that guy's voice, it's just like, oh, I can't. I'm so getting like psyched to like listen to that again. It's actually really, really good, but I hear it so really many good. times that I hate it. Like, Under the pressure. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I think this is the end of the road. He, he dissed uh, one of my favorite albums. No, no, that I'm out. this. No regrets. They have to happen. Name off a few more. I regret with this one because I really liked it. I had to stop for a while. And it was with Sufjan Steven. It drove me <laughs> nuts. Every time you pull that out. I hardly, hardly played that. No, that you played it. But you talk about it so much that I was like, okay. And then I felt it belongs to you. I understand. That. And I'm that's like, cool. nope, that's his album. I, I know it's a popular demand. It's really, everybody likes it. But in my environment, it doesn't belong to me. Really? Music doesn't have ownership like that. I know. It, I should, know. it should be, you know, you should be able to listen to whatever you want. I know, but sometimes people inject so much energy and passion to one thing that you you find like a wall that is like, I can't get through that. And you're like, you know what, that's them, let me find my own thing. When I feel fanatism of some sort, even towards a band, a song, an album, whatever, I have a natural reaction to repel that. It's weird, it's weird, but I, that's the thing. And I like many popular bands, like U2 or stuff like that. Cold and it's like, it's like, there's a cold there. And it's like, yes, but not around me. But I take recommendations, I like them. It's just when the recommendation comes with a background of, I've been listening to this all day. I know. So what, are you, <laughs> what do you want to listen to? I, I've been listening with you, but you don't know. Yeah, yeah, you have to play it. And I'm like, ah, okay. And then, 
but a natural recommendation. Hey, you never heard of this before. I think you might like it. I think you might like it. I'm like, okay. And maybe at the end, I get more passionate about that mm -hmm. than that even you. Uh, another question I have. I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna destroy this friendship right now. But how is it now that you come from Venezuela to here being surrounded by music and English constantly? It's weird and I, it makes me feel disconnected many times. Mm -hmm. Actually it made me disconnect from the music I knew back in Venezuela. Like uh, many bands from Mexico or uh, um, any, anywhere in South America. I haven't been following what they're doing now because I'm so disconnected. Mm -hmm. that I don't know what's going on, what is in the air, what's gonna happen. They're never gonna come here, so I'm never following, oh, there's a new yeah. tour, I should listen to this album, whatever. So, yeah, it kind of chop off a part of me. Down there, you, in the south, you have this influence, in music and English, of course, it's, it's an universal thing. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it feels weird, and it's like, it's weird because you know a song in Spanish that you actually like, but I can't show it to people here because it's like listen to this noise and it's like ah, they don't get the soul the spirit the the lyrics of that song and I can't even translate because it sounds yeah. bad so it's it's a it's a struggle so that's what helped me to be even more encrypted just me with my music and I don't want to bother anyone because the, for them it's gonna sound like blah 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 we did that uh, one Sunday spinning Sunday experiment where you know I had the headphones on and I was listening to Spanish music that was cool you know, I didn't know what they were saying, but I was able to kind of, you know, get some themes depending on instrumentality or the way they were singing or something like that. But yeah, I couldn't do it all the time. But I think you should talk about more Spanish music or, or something like that. I think they would like to know. Wouldn't you want to know? Let us know in the comments if you made it this far in the video. Yeah! This channel, I, I don't know, what is it about? I don't know. It's about vinyl. It's about our passion for music. It's not you know, a place where we can find, you know, music reviews on every single new album. And it was kind of getting that way near the end of 2015 because, you know, we wanted to be on top of new music because, you know, it's just that hype. But it's not really about that. Yeah, this is more me, but whatever. Um, but it's not really like that. It's just, it's just what we're kind of listening to in the moment. And, hey, I think you should start talking about some albums that I don't really know about. There's so many records we have. We can't talk about every record, especially when we get it. You know, uh, when I buy a record, I'm not gonna be like, hey guys, look, it's a new record! Uh, yeah, I do do that, yeah. But, but sometimes I buy a new record, I'm like, you know what? I gotta listen to this, like, a, a lot before I can even talk about it. You know, I might buy a new record, listen to it once, not listen to it again for three months. So, what goes around comes around. You know, I haven't talked about something yet. I will talk about it sometime, hopefully. I miss having guests on the show, and I think we're gonna start doing that again. I don't know what Jake's been listening to lately. I don't know what Matt's been listening to lately. I have no idea. Well, what have I? I haven't seen those guys in a while. But, two weeks time, Black Sabbath. Yeah. Ask us questions. Don't forget, we're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We have a Tumblr page. Thank you, Matt. Like, yeah, thanks, man. You're doing awesome on that thing. Thank you very much, guys. We made it through this year because of you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. You can always comment down there. If you give us a lot of questions, we would like to have an episode where we just answer whatever you want to know. Our music taste, about our life, about uh, anything you want to know. So, yeah, thank you very much. Take care. See you later. Thanks for uh, stopping by. And I'll uh, catch you on the flip side. Or I can have my fun. I'm going to the Delta. Catch you on the flip side? Yeah, like a record, you know? Jeez. Wait, you know, there's an A side, there's a B side. Catch you on the flip we'll side. We'll catch you on the flip side. Ow! Nailed it! You sure?